Hey guys, this is Chetan for Gizmo Times and you're watching the gaming review of the Redmi Note 9 Pro Max. This is the Pro Max that was launched uh, earlier but it wasn't on sale and now we finally are able to post some videos. So this is the gaming review and uh, to recognize which is the Pro and the Pro Max, uh, the Pro Max has a 64 MP branding on the back and obviously the colors are different so that's one way to understand it and this is the Pro Max so let's quickly show you the benchmark score as well before we begin so the score is about 2,76,000 for the Android benchmark let's play PUBG Mobile show you the graphic settings possible and some battery drain for as well as the temperatures so right now it's about 28.7 on the front and the ambient temperature is about 25 degrees on the back it's a bit heated up 29 degrees not heated up actually because that's how the temperatures would be on the phone when the phone is on and uh, we'll start the game now to show you the graphic settings that are possible and also some gameplay although we are in professional gamers so don't expect us to play well it's only to understand whether the graphics are loading well we'll do a tdm as well as a quick uh, hot drop so before we begin here are the graphic settings uh, that are available on this device smooth plus ultra that is 40 fps that is possible balanced and ultra is possible and hd and high is possible as well hdr is not uh, uh, available here and uh, we'll start with smooth plus ultra we also have done the gfx tool and if you are interested to watch the video in hindi you can go to our uh, other channel gaming josh where we have done the gfx tool gaming with the 60 fps that's smooth plus extreme so the speaker is located towards the bottom of the device there's also the headphone jack because for games like pubg mobile it's always good to play with headphones so you have the two side hearing and not just the one side one so on a single speaker that's the issue you won't be able to understand a lot of uh, footsteps or even the firing uh, sounds and if it was a dual stereo speaker then that would have been a different case but it's not uh, the dual stereo speaker here so we're gonna do a novo hot drop and uh, uh, frankly uh, don't, you don't need to judge the gameplay you can just check out whether the graphics are loading well and uh, this is uh, the standard uh, um, setting that most of us play on that's smooth and with smooth whatever the highest uh, frame rate that is possible so oh my god so uh, we'll do a hard drop and uh, we'll just show you whether there are any lags any frame drops right now it doesn't have any ping issues so, so it's about 36 milliseconds and we are playing on smooth so that's what is indicated there and the smooth is what i prefer playing smooth is what most of the users prefer playing hdr is for those whose phones actually have that uh, easy uh, setting and uh, those phones which can handle it and HDR has a lot more details even HD has uh, more details than smooth but smooth would actually as the name suggests would give a better and a smoother gameplay and if you drag this towards the left you'll be able to see the frame rates here it shows 60 fps always I don't know why uh, whenever it uh, goes to here it goes to the peak and 60 60 is not even the gameplay that is uh, being <laughs> set here it's 40 so that's a bit confusing these are the other options that you find you can also do the screen recording with just the game audio and not the internal audio or you can go with either the internal audio or the game audio so there's uh, uh, that's one issue with android android doesn't let you do the recording of two things together so as you can see it has been quite smooth already it has been smooth enough and there are quite a lot of people already let's try to do a corner jump and uh, doesn't matter if we die it's just that we'll be able to at least judge the graphics here
So it's okay. One of the reasons why it's always better to play with earphones is that you don't understand which side the sound was from. Even though you can check out the footsteps, but concentrating on the game and checking out the footsteps at the same time is not possible. Though I won't blame the game or anything here. It's just our gameplay, which is not uh, that good. Let's also do the arena training and uh, show you the graphics there as well. But you can clearly see so far that the phone has been able to handle things pretty well. And with the 5020 mAh battery, the battery was at 99%. It's still is at 99% if you can see here. And uh, the battery drain won't be much because of the large battery capacity that is offered in the device. The blue team has scored for the first time. Cover me. As you can see so far uh, it has been quite good with the performance there was no issues again that was a tedium where usually don't you don't see a lot of issues but then things have been pretty consistent and uh, stable let's also play a quick match where again things are a bit different and you might have some render issues as well so let's test this out as well
So this will anyway be the last game and with shotguns usually you even get to understand about uh, how easy it is to shoot and it has been actually quite smooth frankly and that's a good part here. The phone has been doing quite well and I can say that it has been actually doing as good as uh, the Redmi Note 9 Pro uh, and uh, also the Poco X2. But if you check out our uh, other channel that's uh, Gaming uh, Josh, we also talked about how things have been smoother on the POCO X2, frankly. So that's it, uh, I guess we'll end the video as well. You can see it was quite smooth and quite a good gaming. Different uh, different ways we also did the Nova drop just to show you if there were any issues and there was no issue. Not a lot of people in Nova but still uh, it was not bad at all. And then we did a TDM and now finally this was the arcade match, uh, the quick arcade match and the temperatures have gone up to 41.9 or 42 degrees. That is towards the front and towards the back it is about uh, 41 degrees and that is towards the top areas where it usually is so I'd say frankly this is uh, quite a good phone for gaming in the mid-range and this could be one of those recommend de devices and I wish uh, there was uh, the smooth and extreme option support for the Snapdragon 720 chip but it's not there and uh, with GFX tool obviously you can play it but uh, otherwise it's not there and I hope there is an update for that in the future so far that's it in this uh, video and uh, the battery fell down to 96% so the battery anyway is not a concern in this device so that's it in this video. I hope you like this video. If you do, do share and subscribe to get more time for more. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.